To engrave on a cylindrical object with the laser engraver, use the rotary attachment. Prepare your PDF file for the engraver by opening Illustrator or chosen design software. Click Create New and add the dimensions of your item. For width, measure the length of the item. For length, measure around the item. Click Create. Your file should look like this. Add your image by clicking File and then Place. Find the file you want to add, then click Place. Click and drag the image. Add text or any extra design. Once satisfied with the design, rotate the design by 90 degrees and place it against the top of the workspace. This will make it easy to know where the laser will begin engraving. Save your file as a PDF and it is now ready for the engraver. First, make sure the engraver is off and unplug the engraver. Open the machine and move the rulers. Take out the bed and place it on the shelf beneath the engraver. Open the front door and remove the waste tray. Place it on a shelf as well. Place the rotary attachment in the machine and plug it in. The machine can now be plugged in. Place the item on the rotary attachment. Switch the silver lever to slide the one side of the attachment. Lock it in place. Turn on the machine. The laser will go to the rotary home position. Manually focus the laser by pressing the focus mode button. Then press the up and down arrows to move the item closer to the laser. Flip the focus tool so that it points down to the item. Rotate the black wheel on the side of the attachment until the item is parallel to the laser. Press the up button until the focus tool is just barely touching the item. Make sure the tool is barely touching across the item. This will ensure good results. Once satisfied with the focus settings, flip the focus tool back up and press the back button to exit focus mode. Close the front door. The engraver is now ready. Access your file and open the PDF. Click the print icon. Make sure the epilogue engraver is the selected printer and click properties. The engraver properties window appears. To prepare the laser settings, refer to the table on the wall of the makerspace. This is a list of materials and suggested settings from the manufacturer. For this project, we will look at glass. We need the resolution, speed, and power for engraving. The suggested resolution is 300 dpi, speed at 20, and power at 100. The comment also suggests the Jarvis dithering pattern to use. Now plug this information into the properties window. First, set the resolution at 300. Set the job type. Raster is engraving, vector is cutting, and combined is both. This is a raster job. Under raster settings, set the speed and power from the table. The speed was 20 and the power was 100. Engrave direction decides how the laser engraves. Top down is great for most projects, but bottom up can give better results for cylindrical projects. Set the image dithering to Jarvis as suggested. Ignore the vector settings as we are not cutting with this project. Set the width and length as with the PDF file. Make sure to set the height of the item as width or else it turns the design. When satisfied with the settings, click OK. Click Print. The job will be sent to the engraver. Wait until the green light stops flashing. Turn on the air compressor and the fan. Press play. The engraver will perform the job. Once finished, turn off the compressor and fan. Remove the item from the machine. Place a new item to print the job again or add a new job. If finished with the rotary attachment, turn off the engraver and unplug it. Gently push the arm and laser out of the way to access the attachment. 
Unplug the attachment and lift it carefully out of the machine. Put the waste tray and bed back in place for the next user. Drop down the rulers and close the lid. Plug back in the engraver. Return the rotary attachment to under the machine.